Hi guys, in this episode of the Nostalgia Trip, I'm gonna be checking out a piece of TMNT content that I don't think that many of you are actually aware it's a thing. Yeah, somehow, I don't think you guys should be, would be aware about this one. I, I myself have been only uh, told about the existence of this thing, well, very recently. I think I might have seen it before in some videos that I've watched about TMNT, but I only, like, relatively recently realized that there was an actual thing that I could watch about this. And that being Mutant Turtles Superman Legend, a two-episode Japanese TMNT OVA. And I'm really excited to check this one out because... I honestly don't really know too much what to ex about what to expect, but I've seen some of the designs of the turtles in these, and I know that it's kind of based on like the 1987 series, so I feel like it's fitting for me to react to this as I'm reacting to the 1987 series still. So I think it would be really cool to see exactly what the Japanese would come up with when it comes to like TMNT stuff. It's probably gonna be something like wild and wacky like the Japanese Spider-Man or whatever it is. Because I, I think there's like an animated and a live action Japanese Spider-Man series or something along those lines. I don't know, but this seems like it's gonna be at least intriguing, if nothing else. So, yeah. Um... I guess without further ado, um, we should just kind of get into it. Although, as usual, before we get into the reaction, I do want to remind you that I would really appreciate it if you guys could help me out with my transition by donating to my Patreon or to my coffee account. Because for those of you who didn't know, I am trans. And by doing so, you also get access to the full land version of this reaction as well as the full land version of all of the reactions that I do on the channel, which includes cartoons, anime series, like what this is, uh, short live action TV series, long live action TV series, and movie full out reactions. Alternatively, you can also just stick with the YouTube version and simply like the video, but it is greatly appreciated if you do make the extra step of supporting me. So yeah, now that I've started doing anime series reactions, this feels like the right time to react to this. So yeah, I guess without further ado, let's get into the reaction in 3, 2, 1. Mutant Turtles, Chojin Densets Hen. I don't have the time to read this. What? Fairies? In TMNT? Whoa! Yeah, I've seen those designs! That's sick! So they get to transform into these mutated versions, huh? This is so weird! I kinda dig it though! Whoa! Whoa! Why did Shredder transform into a griffin or something? Wait, if they get even stronger, what? Kick ass! So they get to combine into one, like a Megazord? <laughs> what? This is such a wild idea for TMNT, man. This is so wild. I feel like I'm watching a parallel universe version of TMNT. Oh, 
This theme song feels very Yu-Gi-Oh! GX-like for some reason. Why do they have Zords? What? I kind of like the design for the Shredder though, I gotta say. Okay, now it makes sense why they're called it Go Go Turtles, because it's like a Power Rangers kind of thing. Very interesting, that's for sure. This is so wild. I feel like the fusion into one giant turtle, super mutant, is kind of unnecessary though, gotta say. That is really crazy. Super Turtles Die Pinch Saint to Tojo. So what is more functioning? What? Wait, stars are disappearing? That's such a cool concept that was also kind of done a little bit in Doctor Who. I really liked it there too. <laughs> you know, they're still doing the characters like how I would expect them to, so that's interesting. I love the design for the Shredder, honestly, a lot. Kind of reminds me of the design that I saw in the TMNT 2012 Summer Shorts. In particular, in the best one, Turtles uh, Save Time and Space. I wouldn't have minded this to be like an actual series, man. This is so interesting. <laughs> Personality of a kitten. Okay, that voice is starting to get a little annoying. You know, it doesn't really feel like a first episode so far. We really, it really feels like halfway through a series kind of situation. Because they're talking about other times where they've lost to the turtles or whatever. It doesn't feel like the beginning of the story. Hey, there's the turtles. 
っきり分かってるわけじゃないからねおいおいお二人さん話のピントがずれてるぜこれは一大事だはいいやーエイプリル瞬間移動でもしたのかいあれ今の放送は VTR よ。あ、oh, あ、the address, how quickly she arrived there, that's cool.It's interesting how much more detailed her face is in this. あの連中っておまんけな鉄板頭とノームスタッフのコンビのことかいきっと、サークビューの詳細に違いない。Oh, that was a f- the fairy? 闇のビューたちによく眠る悪魔です。星を消滅させるほど。Where the hell did that crap come from? I really like the Donny voice. Dude, this is so weird. <laughs> oh, I'm so intrigued. Like, I'm fucking listening and reading to everything that they're saying. It's so intriguing. Watching this just makes me think of Inazuma 11 and Yu Gi Oh! GX because,、uh, I mean, the Yu Gi Oh! franchise as a whole. Because those are the only two franchises that I've watched animes of, you know? I haven't really watched many other animes. I've watched maybe like two or three others. The Leo voice is also pretty cool. Oh, yeah, they also get to transform, right? Again, of course, everything in Japan has to have a fucking super transformation. You know, it's a little bit low energy. Not gonna lie. Cool, but not as cool as it should be. <laughs> you know, the thing is,、uh, April being like a, a reporter and caring so much about getting a scoop. Actually, fits a lot more with Japanese stuff from my experience because there's like. I swear there's a character that cares about that shit in every fucking single Yu Gi Oh! series and every single in a Zoom 11 series. Like, it's a far more common thing in anime, I feel like. <laughs> the food soldiers went on vacation? What? <laughs> What a ret- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I wish the animation quality was better, but it's still pretty fucking cool. What's with Japanese stuff and naming your attacks, man? Why is that a thing? Yeah. 
たちもコアコントローラーのスイッチを入れろ。ユーラスにおくれた力が自由自在に操れる。みんな大丈夫かいなわけないよな。Hey guys, didn't we actually see this version of the turtles in like the、uh, in, in like the 2003 crossover movie? Like the 25th anniversary movie? I'm pretty sure you see them in like a picture in the background. As like an alternate, alternate universe turtles. <laughs> Call the police. That's such a weird addition of that character. I'm sorry, I'm still kind of hung up on that. Okay, that's just creepy. That same moment in France. Wait, what is happening? It's the 2020s, man. Shit just happens everywhere nowadays. You know? It's like a, dis a new disaster every month. Hey! It's the punk frogs! <laughs> Wait, what? Are they actually on fucking vacation? I didn't expect that we would actually see them. Whoa, that was quick! The food soldiers are blasting off again. Oh. Well. That is not a thing anymore. Is that. Wait, is that a fucking tsunami? Damn! I really like these designs, man. Yeah, everybody fucking died. It's the day after tomorrow. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about forgetting to close the door. That is so stupid. <laughs> yeah, but right now, like 8 million people fucking died. It is cool to be able to swim above the buildings, though. I've, I think I've kind of had these kind of dreams, and that's one of my favorite aspects of the movie Waterworld, by the way. It's a really cool movie, if you haven't seen it, check it out. They don't make them like they used to, that's for sure. ありがとう。でもそんな大げさな熱はこっちからなくても一目瞭然なのよ。あそこよ。ありがとう。でも、そんな大げさな熱はこっちからなくても一目瞭然なのよ。あそこよ。ありがとう。でも、そんな大げさ
So you guys also have a dark fairy? What? Also, the soundtrack right now that you hear in the background feels very Yu-Gi-Oh! Doom Monsters-esque. I love it. I love how Japanese anime this is, that's for sure. It just makes me want to watch more anime. If nothing else. We lost the value thing, did we? <laughs> yeah, Shredder truly was a valued individual. You know, with each transformation, he just looks less and less like the Shredder. He looks fine in the first place. I like the design, but at this point, he doesn't even look like anything resembling the Shredder. What did your rat senses start tingling? Wait, what? How did you grab that? What the fuck? I'm so... This is so fucking anime, but so hard to kind of grasp and wrap my head around. Jesus Christ! Honestly, that design would look like a CQ Hero monster. It's so weird seeing such a muscular dude act like a complete dipshit. And if, as if already shit ton of people didn't die, now they definitely did. This is such an unimaginable, unimaginable disaster. Man, the Japanese cannot stop themselves from having giant monsters destroy cities, do they? Hey, it's not their fault that the world, that New York is all fucking destroyed. Looking at her just makes me feel like I'm watching Yu-Gi-Oh. So you basically turn into Captain Fucking Planet. <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that? Only for 100 seconds? Why? <laughs> Why are they animating the fucking shuttle like that? What? 
Now this kind of also reminds me of Symbionic Titan, which is a series that I want to watch eventually. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, that's Chris. Man, killing one of your main characters in the first episode, that's cozy. Okay, this is actually really cool. Interesting climax. Oh, come on, don't give me that bullshit. I don't want to feel sad in the first episode of this thing. And how are you gonna go back to work, you idiots? But she also imprisoned herself, too. Wait, what do you mean you won't be able to mutate? So what, that was just for the stupid first episode? So what is the second episode gonna be like? Okay, so that was apparently episode one. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this, you know? Um, it's kind of interesting, kind of wild, kind of very Japanese. Um, and I kind of like the fact that it's Japanese, but I feel like the fact that it's TMNT, that kind of drags it down, you know? It's like, I feel like I would have cared and enjoyed this more if it didn't have the TMNT-ness to it. I mean, at the same time, it feels like just beca because it's TMNT, it's so intriguing. Because otherwise, I wouldn't really give a shit about a random anime from, like, the 90s. I wouldn't sit down and watch it. But, like, I don't know. The clash between the actual TMNT stuff, especially because it's already using a lot of similar designs and looks from, like, the 1987 series. It's just too big of a clash. And I feel like they that it doesn't really complement each other. It feels like two completely different lores slapped together, you know? It's kind of interesting, like I said, but also kind of wild, and I ultimately don't really know how to feel about it yet. We still have one more episode to check out of this, which is the only other episode of this. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know whether they'll be able to transform in the second episode, because apparently, like, the thing that allowed them to turn into super mutants is imprisoned now like i said this doesn't really feel like the first episode of this show it feels like the finale 
or I guess I could see this being like a test pilot to see whether it's interesting enough and whether they can make it good enough and then potentially they could have reworked the plot into this being the finale or whatever but it doesn't really feel like a first episode so that's definitely an, an issue that I have uh, uh, against it but still for what it is I'm honestly going to give it a pretty solid 7.1 out of 10 I think it's interesting if you're a TMNT fan to see what TMNT if done by the Japanese would be like but it's honestly exactly what you would expect a TMNT done by the Japanese to be like so I don't know if there's enough stuff there still I definitely enjoy overall watching this like I was curious and I've seen it and you guys experienced it with him but I just feel like there wasn't necessarily much to comment on because at times because of the older animation and everything it just was very low energy and very hard to like be engaged by so hopefully the second episode is gonna be better in this so yeah i guess without further ado let's get into the second episode of this in three two one <laughs> Yeah, but she already got imprisoned again, so what is gonna happen now? Are they gonna fucking unlock her again? Like, where is the story gonna go now? I love how it much it reminds me of the Doom Monsters Yu-Gi-Oh! series, man. I love the style of anime in like the late 90s, early 2000s. It's so good. Oh yeah, the theme song again. It's a banger, that's for sure. Metal Turtles? Mutant Turtles? Now Metal Turtles? What are you talking about? 
Wait, they went to Japan? Why? So they're just mutant turtles and they're just walking fine around the world, huh? I can't tell whether he's screaming or laughing. Me neither. How convenient. And I always love fetch quest series with like specific like I don't know why particularly power of crystals. That shit for some reason is so interesting to me. But in general, I love fetch quests where you're gathering a bunch of different things that give you different powers and abilities, you know? Did he just throw a tantrum like a five-year-old? <laughs> Sure is. Help. Wow. That's pretty straightforward. And they just died. You know, they're going in the opposite direction. I don't see a reason why you should need to fuck with them right now. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're on a train, guys. Wait, you're on a bullet train? That's even worse than being on a normal train. Bye, Shredder! Like I said, this is actually a pretty cool suit for a king. <laughs> Why are you running like that? <laughs> that was the best action we've gotten. Is that the Hamato clan?
先生お久しぶりです服部金蔵お出迎えに三条捕まってみましたうむご苦労ああ本物の忍者だわ素晴らしい Hey they're ninjas too shut up <笑>この鏡は我らが忍びの里の守護神最強にして最大のパワーを秘めた伝説の鏡ところがなるほど何者かがこの鏡を奪おうとしておったな。さすが先生、その通りにございます。この鏡が奪われては一度です。そこで先生をはじめ、皆様のお力をお借りし、鏡を守ろうと思い立ち、あのようなお便りをしたためた次第でござる。ねえ、その狙ってるやつって、もしかして。シュレッダーたちだって。No, they're not after this, unless this is a mutant stone. ちょっと待って。So it is a mute stone. You know, I think the thing that bothers me about the mutation with the mute stones and stuff is I feel like it's a little bit too. Like too many transformations. Like they're already mutants, and then you give them superpowers. It just feels kind of necessary. You know? It's fine if you have them be mutants or have them transform with mute stones, but going for both just feels too much. You know how something can be over designed? This is the same thing, but in terms of writing, like it's overwritten, like you overcomplicated it. Wait, who the hell are you? <laughs> That's a cool looking dude. <laughs> No, he's a ghost. Clearly. Notice me, Senpai. You know, I, I'm not sure how correct like the subtitles are, but I love in Japanese when they swear in, at each other, even in like uh, like cartoon level stuff. Like I don't know how accurate it is to say that Yaro means bastard or that Kso means shit. But to me, that's what those words mean. And I even catch myself sometimes saying them, you know? Wait, what? 
どういうことだめん、シッチャーのことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、ことは、Come on, guys, you gotta go too! Go and stop them! Can you stop laughing? It's starting to get annoyingly stupid. And it kind of makes me laugh at this point. How much he continues to laugh. Like his laugh is starting to get contagious. Good point. Dumb shit, what a dumb shit. Uh, there are some funny moments in this, I gotta say. I mean, is it really easier using the stairs? Stop laughing. Can we all just stop laughing for a second? It's starting to be annoying. Well, you didn't think about it, did you? Honestly, this second episode is incredibly boring, I'm not gonna lie. What are you doing here? How do you know which one's uh, real and which one's fake? Oh yeah, this guy's pointing to it! I think they're gonna get three of them and the turtles are gonna get the other four, yup. Wait, are those fucking Zords?
What? That looks cool though. So they got new mutations, I guess. Yeah, that's why there's seven, because three of them and four of them. That's pretty cool though. I kind of like these designs a lot. That's a really cool design. Now this looks like the Shredder still, so I think it, that's why it still works so much better than the other one. Or just get mutated as well, get the other four stones. Those sound like his sats techniques from Inazuma 11, man. That's the one thing that I love about Japan, man. I love their fucking namings for special moves. And that's gonna be our downfall, Shredder, because they're gonna get the other four stones. Here we go. What a generous mirror. <laughs> Same here. Here we go. I want to see their designs when they mutate now. Are they going to be better than the original ones? They just look like they're wearing armor, not like the Shredder and the other ones. They're not as good. Honestly, I kind of prefer the other designs. They look, they look like they're cosplaying, it just doesn't work. What's with the timing, man? <laughs> yes, he does. Still, I really like the special moves. That's really cool. I really love those special moves, like the special moves or suspicious moves thing is really cool. <laughs> Don't run away. <laughs> Honestly, this 
feels more like the first episode than last one. So they got the mirror. Honestly, those special moves really make me want to watch more of this. But sadly, there isn't any more. So wild. Hey, stop laughing. I'm hungry too, but I still have a couple more videos to record. So it's falling? Huh? Okay, so that was episode 2, I guess. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly how I feel about this. Um, it's not quite as interesting as I thought it was going to be. It's definitely different from what I expected it, that it was going to be. Even knowing that it's like some weird Japanese stuff. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I just don't know how to feel feel about this. I do feel like this second episode was far better than the first one in terms of like actually building a story and being engaging. Like I didn't feel lost when I was watching this episode. I felt very lost when I was watching the first one. This one was definitely better in that regard. But it's still like very weird and very nonsensical and has nothing to do with TMNT to the point where I feel like like I said earlier I would like it more if it wasn't, you know, because the original stuff that are TMNT stuff does not play into anything. Like, them being mutants does not play into anything. They might as well have been humans and it wouldn't make a difference. Same for April, like, that she doesn't do anything. So, I feel like this is not necessarily a bad concept on its own, but... I don't think the fusion of TMNT and anime works quite as well as it should. And I just don't really feel like they utilize the fact that it's TMNT much in this, you know? It's cool though. Um, I like seeing an anime OVA TMNT. I wouldn't have minded to see more and see where it would go, but it definitely feels a felt like a little bit of a chore getting through this. So hopefully it's going to make for a decently entertaining video. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I don't know if there's anything else to say to this. I already told you that I really like the special moves in this. I think that's why this episode was more entertaining to me, because it reminded me more of Inazuma Eleven, which is the anime that I've started watching recently, so go and check it out um, if you guys haven't. But yeah, it's cool, it's interesting, um, but the quality of it is definitely subpar. Um, so there's that. So I gave last episode a 7.1 out of 10. I think I'm going to give this one a 7.4 because, like I said, the special moves are more interesting. There was more excitement in this episode because of that. I didn't feel as lost. And it actually felt like the first episode. Last episode was literally kind of useless. Pointless, you know. And I honestly thought that more of this show was going to be about those really cool designs with, like, the masks and everything. But it turns out to not be the case. They're just using these metal suits now, apparently. I don't know. There's, I feel like it's kind of interesting for a TMNT series to be something like this, but a lot of this stuff 
here in this that are not TMNT, are very cliche Japanese anime stuff, typical stuff like, oh, so transformation sequences, oh, special moves, oh, swords, basically. Like, this is typical Japanese stuff. And it kind of, like I said, because those two things don't fuse together, like the TMNT stuff and the Japanese cliche stuff don't fuse together, it doesn't feel like a Japanese version of TMNT, it just feels like a cliched Japanese anime that just happens to have some resemblance with TMNT, you know? Still, it's kind of a wild thing to check out and with this for sure now I will have uh, checked out every possible audio-visual TMNT content, aka animated series or a live-action series or movies. Because I haven't obviously played every single TMNT game, but I also don't want to, you know. But yeah. Um, what did you guys think about this? Um, I, I'm not sh really sure myself yet how I feel about this fully. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. And I'm curious, what did you guys think about it? So comment those down below and let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently five patrons on Patreon. Omar Bridgman, Deadpool, Corvy Dead. Drew and Rin. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. If you have decided to support me, if you continue to support me in such a long time, hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe. Also, check out the link in the description to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And also the link to an LGBTQ charity helping out other LGBT people like me in my country. I am not affiliated with this charity, I just want to help them out. And if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my coffee account where you can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine. You can stick up me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!